Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and once again, it is time for an upper body day. Um, pretty happy with today's workout. The bench, though, was a little, little tough, and I felt like my triceps were giving out, which tells me I need to watch tricep recovery closely because I felt the triceps and the biceps a ton on this, but I've been working those things hard. I've been getting a lot of tricep doms, uh, so I need to really think about what, what I need to do for triceps, and I almost didn't do extensions today. Uh, and I'll get to why in a minute, but I chose to do them. I think I need to watch the high rep band press downs. I've been doing a little bit off camera and stuff and at the end of workouts. Um, I need to make sure my triceps are recovering. Uh, but still, the set was good because it was all pause. It was all flat back, ultra wide grip. Uh, you know, I'll take 315 per three. I'd like to still get that to 10 one day. All right, uh, but again, we did five exercises, two hard sets of every exercise. And the thing is, when I'm not holding back, it's, it's different, like right here. I managed to get eight chins and then I rested long enough between sets because I did my benching and then or I waited a minute then did the benching in the other set and I managed to get nine. All right, those are those are PRs. Of course my bicep strength has been going up a little bit. Um, again, now that I'm training my biceps correctly, full ranges of motion, strict stuff, my bicep movements are probably gonna get stronger. All right, for the, the second set of benching, since I realized eh, the reps were, were a little low, obviously I can't go too heavy on the second set. Um, I did 275, I managed to get eight reps. Pretty much a limit set, I had to grind. I, did a, I knew the eighth rep was gonna be really hard, so I did a nice good pause, and then I dug in and drove it up, and it was grindy. Um, that was def it's definitely a zero rep and reserve set. I feel like both bench sets were. The chins, the first set, maybe one rep, but then I took that, that next set. I ground out a ninth rep. We could debate if it even counted. So we'll count it as failure. Uh, so again, taking these sets real, real hard. Real hard. But um, that's the point I've made previously. If our progressive overload is there, the volume is sufficient. All right. Now, what have I said before? We can get away with five or six sets of muscle. I'm still gonna end up with more than that. Uh, because if we think about chest, if we don't count any of the arm work towards anything, uh, and I think some of it will count, what do we have? Two sets of bench, two sets of chins, two sets of pullovers, all right? Four sets for my chest, four sets for my lats, just in general, lats and traps, right? Do that twice a week, that's eight. They're super hard sets. I think we're good. All right, the pullovers, I'm like, let's really push these. Now, getting into position is hard, finding a good way to put my feet, uh, given that we're going pretty heavy. And I may need to go over to my, my bench so that I can dig my feet in to do this. Of course, we're not going to get the same angle as far as the visual. But I got 12 on the first set, rested a, a, a couple minutes, came back, did the second set, and I managed to get 14. The problem with that. What have I said? The pullover is actually a great tricep exercise. You know, I felt a lot of tricep on the bench today, but when I did this, my triceps were cramping. I had to rest like five minutes before I did the arm work. I had to rest five minutes, and I was worried I was not going to be able to do the extensions because my triceps, I felt the burn, the long head, but the lateral head, that doesn't even get worked in theory on the pullover, started cramping. It started cramping. It was twitching and cramping after I got up for about 10 seconds. All right, so definitely the pullovers, and I felt the triceps on the first set, this second set. Again, this is the hardest set I've ever done of pullovers in my life in terms of, of workload. Uh, man, my triceps were lit. That's why I've told people, really, the arm work is, is for my weak point training. Someone could come in and build an upper body off of just these first three movements. Bench, weighted chins, pullovers. Your entire upper body would get worked. Every single muscle would get worked thoroughly. Anything you do beyond that would really just be weak point training. Where, where, where am I weakest at? For me, we know that's arms, right? We know my arms need to come up. Uh, of course, that's subject to debate. Some people say I don't have arms. Other people think I have good arms. That's really hilarious. Uh, some people say, it looks like you don't train them at all. And some people are like, I don't know. I think they look pretty good. In person, people think they're big, by the way. It's kind of weird. Yeah. All right. So the extensions, um, again, these did feel a little challenging. But, you know, I realized the first set I got 12. So I'm like, well, let me, I'm going to need to go up and wait on this. 
So I, I went up heavier. I went up to 115, which I don't normally do on these. But I'm, I'm like, look, I don't have to, you know, get it into position. I'm doing these in the rack now using the straight bar. Let's just push it. My triceps are limiting my bench. This exercise, of course, has been giving me tricep doms. But my triceps are limiting my bench. Let's, let's just go ahead and push them. It's not like it's that much volume. Triceps are getting the most work out of any muscle, right, that we're doing today. Six total sets. That would be my weak point training. So if I did that twice a week, that's 12. The only thing hitting 10 plus sets really on the upper body. Um, the curls, the first set, it felt like I just couldn't get one more rep on the first set. But I managed to get a little more doing some rest pause near the end. I did a, and I do a rest pause on the, the extensions coming up. I'm not normally a big fan of rest pause training, but I want to make sure that I get muscle failure. And maybe that's the way to do it. Especially on exercises I'm worried about the safety on. Um, we're just trying to get a little bit more. But really it's just chasing an extra rep or two. Right? That's all we're trying to do. But the curls, again, trying to keep these strict, trying to keep them controlled, trying to do the full range of motion. Right, We're locking at the bottom, we're ringing them up to the face. So again, we're taking the bicep through the full range of motion. Since again, it's the only real direct bicep work I'm doing, but chins will build biceps. Like let's, let's go ahead and push them. All right, this set I got, I went up to that. I got eight reps. It was really hard. I racked it, rested a second, and then unracked it and did one more. I was worried when I racked it though, that if I did that, I was gonna fail it, but that's okay. With this, because of the way it's set up in the big plates, I probably can just drop it behind my head, right? I have a good safe area to do it on. I'm using the rubberized plates there. So I'm not really as worried about the floor, right? It's not the, the steel plates. I can get away with it if I have to. Prefer not to, but I can do it if we need to. You know, I could always put some pads down though if I really get worried about it. But uh, again, felt the triceps on this, but it's interesting, man, it's just how much I felt them on the pullovers. Right, I, and I really, again, as I do the pullovers, I really think they're, gonna, they're a secret to a lot of things. They helped me be able to do chin-ups and pull-ups again, okay? They do seem to build my chest, but man, when I push them hard, like I'm doing now, the tricep stimulus is phenomenal. It's a reason those old school bodybuilders did that. And then we finish up with one set of curls. So guys, it's 10 work sets today. That's it, 10 total work sets, all of them hard, I feel like I will gain muscle off this workout. Great training stimulus, great pump. Muscles were cramping, muscles were hurting. I had a pump on everything and I maintained that pump. I still have the pump afterwards. And I took this set pretty much to limit. Um, I, I did rest pause so that I could squeeze out another rep or two more than I did the last set. So again, pushing the biceps hard, getting some bicep PRs because of the chins. Uh, so really happy with today's workout other than I wish I would have got more reps on the, the top set of bench. So I hope it's been informative. I will talk to you guys and gals next time.